Okay, in this problem, we have a car that is driven 245 kilometers west and then 98 kilometers southwest. Southwest just means a 45 degree angle. So you might not see 45 degrees on a test or a quiz, just know that southwest means 45 degree angle. Anyways, so let's draw a little axes over here. So this is north, east, south, west. That was ugly west okay so first we're going to drive 245 kilometers west and then we are going to drive 98 kilometers southwest okay first question asks what is the displacement of this car uh, from the point of the origin, which is right here, origin. So what is that magnitude? So that'd be from here to here. Notice we cannot use Pythagorean theorem. We do not have a right triangle. We can make a right triangle by breaking these, um, this um, right here, this vector into its components. So this 98 kilometer vector, we can break it into its y component and its x component. Remember, 45 degrees southwest, we have this 45, 45 triangle. So let me draw this triangle bigger. So we have a 98 kilometer. This is 45 degrees. This appears also 45, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. So this is our opposite side, our adjacent, and our hypotenuse. To find our opposite, we can use sine. So sine of 45 equals our opposite over 98, because that's our hypotenuse. 98 sine of 45 equals, what is that? 98 sine of 45 is 69 point, I'm gonna say 296 interesting thing uh, with these 45 degree triangles 98 cosine of 45 will also be 69.296 the reason why I'm saying cosine is going to find out our x component this a right here because cosine Sokotoa so so ka toa Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So cosine of 45 is adjacent, which is, we don't know, over our hypotenuse. And that's where I got 98 cosine of 45, which is 69.296. So let me erase this. Okay, so 69.296, 69.296, and if we draw our triangle differently, where I bring this 245 kilometers down to here, and we take this y component and bring it over here, we can see how this triangle right here makes a right angle right here. So let me draw this out because you can see how messy it's gotten. So there's that right triangle I was talking about. So our x component we found right here is 69.296. We'll have to add 245 kilometers to it because that's this component right here and I brought it down our y component is just 69.296 and how do we find uh, this magnitude well we simply use Pythagorean's theorem so 69.296 plus 245 we'll square that let's see here so 69.296 plus 245 that's 314, so I'm gonna write this down here, 314.296. Let's use Pythagorean theorem where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We'll say 
A is 314.296, oh, shoot, 296 squared plus B squared is 69.296 squared equals C squared, which will do the square root. So square this plus 69.296 squared 103.583, 103.583. One zero three five eight three will give us three twenty one. So C equals three twenty one point eight kilometers. C is our magnitude. This right here. So if we want just say three sig figs, we'll just do three twenty two meters. Okay, now let me erase all of this junk. Give us a lot more room. Because we now need to find, whoops. We now need to find the angle. Oh well, that's fine. From the point of the origin. So, let me get this out of the way. This is 322, this is 314.296, this is 69.296, obviously not drawn to scale. We want to find this angle right here. Um, it asks for, this is not specified, but south of west, the angle which would be, if we look at this northeast southwest coordinate, which would be this angle right here, which I'm not finding. Right now, I'm finding west of south. So we're going to have to subtract that by 90. We are, I'm, right now, I'm finding the y, the angle against the y axis. Notice I need this angle. So. To find this angle, I do, let's use sine inverse of opposite, which is 314.296, all over 320, you can't see that, 322, and that equals, let's see here, 314.296, divide that by I'll do 3 to 1.8 to get a little bit closer. That gives us 77.6 degrees. And like I said, that's the angle against the Y axis. We want our angle to be against the X axis. We always like that angle against the X axis. So in order to find that, we'll just subtract that by 90. So 90 minus 77.6. and that'll be 12.4 degrees. So our final answer is 12.4 degrees. I hope this video helped explain things. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.